Okay, you join us here for day two of the National Hunt for the Amlin 1965 chase, which is race 13. So the two mile three ferns are grade two. So number one is Archangel for Joshua Southern, two is Bellagio Fenton for Hems, Bearwolf for Leon Van Rensburg is three, Blackmore Instrument for Martin Eden is four, Bobby XL for Pontypool Racing is five, GI LA High for Kimmy Munham is six, and seven is Lady Leela for Ryan Costello. So seven of them to go. For the Amlin 1965 chase here at Ascot, which was uh, named to commemorate the first national hunt meeting back in 1965 here at Ascot. Well, we're through the first two, and everybody's on their feet. We're being led by Bobby XL, He's the highest rated chaser in the race. He's being followed through by Archangel, which is his chase debut. A hurdler against the fences of Bellagio Fenton, also on his chase debut. Oh no, it's GI Hella, LA High, sorry, Kevin Minahan against the fence. The other green silks are Bellagio Fenton, and then the great Lady Leela, the Beowulf, and the Blackmore instrument towards the rear. So we're inside the two miles now. As we get to the fourth, the leader's over it. Poor jump at the rear by Blackmore instrument. He's shuffled himself right into the Tavan Charlie position on his own as we come up the Ascot home straight. There's the crowd. Oof, and the leader went straight through the top of that. Bobby XL. Bit of a bobby as he went over the top of it. But it is still Bobby XL. Leading us past the winning post from GI LA High. Archangel. Length and a half back to Bellagio, Fenton, and Lady Layla together. Just on their outside is a bear wolf. And we've got about a length and a half just to Blackmore Instrument. So a mile and a half still to go. And a full circuit. And we have nine fences. And it's still Bobby XL. From GI LA High and Archangel. Bellagio, Fenton, and Lady Layla. Good old bear wolf. And Blackmore instrument. Get to the six. Leaders are over it. Layla, sorry, Lady Layla. Went through the top of that one. It's dropped right to the tower at the moment. Getting over it better was Blackmore instrument. Can take the seventh. Poor jump there by Archangel. Sutherland stables. You'd expect uh, some. Sticky jumping on its first chase event. We get to the ditch. Everybody takes that quite well. And it's still Bobby XL though. By about five now from Beowulf, Blackmore Instrument, GLA, LA High and Bellagio Fenton all together. We go to the ninth. Everybody took that well as as expected. And it's still Bobby XL. And the chasing pack are all pretty close together. If you haven't just been hurried along a little bit. And the uh, Archangel and Lady Layla. A line of four horses that have to pass Doesn't have to get any closer, but it's still Bobby XL for the Pontypool Racing Stables. Graham Clutterbuck takes the tenth. Beowulf didn't get over that one well. His first mistake of the day. It's the eleventh, or oh, another mistake again by Beowulf. Going to be lucky to hang on to his rider if he continues to jump like this. They get to the ditch, the twelfth. Everybody's over it, and it's still Bobby XL that leads us, but. Blackmore Instruments moving it to second on his own now. They go to the 13th, three from home, another mistake by Archangel. Not going to win, I don't doubt, with that kind of jump in. So it's still Bobby XL by five from Blackmore Instruments. GI, GI LA high in third. Bellagio Fenton under a bit of pressure now as Beowulf and Archangel and Lady Lader all start scrubbing their horses along. But it's still Bobby XL as we come down to three furlongs from home. And there's only two to jump, and it's Bobby XL from Blackmore Instrument and GI LA high. They go over the 14th, a slow jump by Bobby XL. Faster was Blackmore Instrument and now starts to draw alongside. So it's Bobby XL taken on now by Blackmore Instrument. And it's Blackmore Instrument that leads by half a length of a furlong and a half to go from GMI. GI LA High. I don't think anything else is going to get into this. Beowulf's trying to run on. They both go over the 15th and last time we lost one there. GI LA High is gone. So it's neck and neck. Bobby XL and Blackmore Instrument. Bobby XL. Bobby XL just nosing in front here. Bobby XL from Blackmore Instrument has got nothing left. So Bobby XL takes it. Takes the Amlin 965 chase by about two to three lengths. Running on was Beowulf. Archangel was fourth. So let's see if Bobby XL goes to the Queen Mother, which is his, his in the real world uh, one of 
those prep races. So a good win there for Pontypool Racing with Bobby XL. Second was Blackmore Instrument for Martin Leedham. Third was Beowulf for Leon van Rensburg. Fourth was Archangel for Joshua Sutherland. And fifth was Bellagio Fenton for Hems.